Today we are going to do a flexion free workout which means if you're experiencing back pain or you've been told to be careful with how you bend forward or how you extend back or if you're battling osteoporosis and you're trying to be careful, this is a workout for you. My name is Jill Henson, this is my YouTube channel and all you're gonna need today is your mat and your body. So meet me on your back. Let your head relax, let your tailbone relax. Let the neck relax. Take a deep breath in. Hold it. And long exhale, release it. With each exhale, you're letting your muscles and your bones get heavier. Breathing in. And exhaling out. Picture yourself on sand and you're sinking deeper and deeper into the sand. Breathing in, holding it, and exhaling to release it. Shoulders relax, inhale, and exhale. One more nice breath in, and exhale, release. Bring one arm overhead and we're gonna just scissor the arms back and forth and I want you to pay attention to your rib cage and your abdominals. You want to try to keep them together so when the arm comes back, you're not letting your back arch. So you're trying to hug in tight And we're gonna try to focus here on keeping a neutral spine, which means my pubic bone and my hip bones are in one horizontal plane. And I've said this before, if I sit a cup of coffee on your pelvis, it's not gonna spill. That's how you know you're in, or it's a good reminder to be in your neutral position. All right, so let's bring the legs to tabletop. And then let's lower them back down. Now when you do this, can you hang on to your pelvic stability without walk, rocking around? Once more, lift, lift, lower, and lower. Now I just want you to lift and lower the right leg, little taps, I'm not trying to bring the knee past my hip. See how it makes me wanna tilt my pelvis back? You're not gonna do that. Little taps, trying to keep your pelvis from moving. One more. Lower it down. Other leg lifts. And little tap, little lift. Breathing in and breathing out. Just wanna make sure you're not holding your breath here. For two. And one. Now, bring the legs up. You're gonna tap down, but not straight down. I want you to take it a little bit more in front, kind of toward the end of the mat. Bring it back. Other leg comes down. And return. Tummy is tight. Height. One more. Now we're gonna add the arms with the legs. Opposite arm as leg comes back and forward. Breathing in and breathing out for four. So my core is activated. I'm working my abs here even without flexion. It's really amazing. Now bring the arms down. Your legs are gonna come down. I want you to press into your hands, press into your feet, lift and squeeze your booty. Give it a little squeeze, lower it down. Press, lift, and lower. Here we go. You guys know I love some glute bridges. Seven, 
six, keep going, four, three, two, one, and lower down. We are gonna take it to the hundred. Yes, you can still do that. We're just gonna keep our head down. But I am gonna add some leg work for you. So it's gonna look like this. You're gonna inhale, out for five, up, and then down for five, all right? So I want you to start pumping the arms, breathing in and out. In for five, out for five. And we're gonna add the legs. In and up and down. Here we go. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, down and out. Two, three, four, five, up and down. Keep pumping. A little coordination for you. And if you don't like what I'm doing here, just keep your legs at tabletop. You can keep it here. I don't even have any idea where we are at this point. <laughs> and out. And up. Maybe we'll do the 200. Out. And up. Let's go one more. We'll be pretty close. I do know that. And down and back. From here, we're going to glute bridge it again for five. And down. Four. Lower. Three, so these are not hip rolls. You're not rolling through the spine. Two, just pressing straight up and lowering down. One, and relax, good. All right, turn it over. I want you to meet me on your bellies. So I want you to bring your hands together. I'm gonna come forward a little bit. And we're gonna rest the forehead down. Now I don't want you to arch your back to extend up or to lift the legs. We're gonna fire up the booty and fire up the legs and just give them a little squeeze. That's it, we're not even lifting them up yet. And lower back down. Little uh, lift of the knees, squeeze. Lower the legs back down. Just relaxing and then give it all a squeeze. For three, Relax, lower the knees. Two. Notice my feet are staying down. One. And down. Now from here, I'm gonna lift left leg. Activate the right leg so everything is still active. Lower down. And lift right. So I'm finding length through my legs as I lift. My belly is tight, I'm hugging in. We want the core activated here. And we lift for eight, seven, six, five, four more, four, three, two, one, lower down. Now bring the legs all the way together if you can and turn them out. Now from here, I want you to squeeze your booty tight and see if you can just lift your legs to a small hover, lower them down. Lift and hover, lower them down. For three, two, one, and Relax, great work. Bring the legs up and you can just kind of shake them out. Move them side to side. And then I want you to meet me on all fours. So we're gonna do a little spinal balance here. So you want the hands under the shoulders and the knees under the hips. And I want you to just take out the right arm. Lower it down. Left and lower. Right leg, it's strong. Notice I'm not arching my back here. Keep the tummy tight, bring it in. Other leg, out and down. Again, right, left, right, and left. 
Now we're gonna combine it. So you're gonna take opposite arm as leg, right arm, left leg, hold on to that, lower it back down, and switch it up. Hang on to that, lower it down for four, three, two, and one. Hold that position. Now, from here, we're gonna protract and retract. So I just want you to press the shoulders away and then bring them down. That's not a cat and cow. Notice I'm not flexing or um, arching my back. I'm keeping it tabletop, so flat like the top of a table, literally. And I'm protracting, retracting. So I'm pressing the floor away almost as if my arms are like an elevator shaft. So we're going up and down. And relax. Good, I want you to come and have a seat. And we're gonna close this workout here with some breathing. So I want you to take a nice inhale, breathing in, and then exhaling, let it go. Try to soften through your neck, try to soften through your shoulders, try to let your face soften. And I want you to picture little sponges between each vertebrae. And as water is pouring into the sponge, your spine is gonna expand. So you're gonna inhale, ribs expand, and then exhale. Those sponges are there, so we have nice tall posture, and we're not really trying to compact the spine. We already live a tensed life, so this is your chance to just breathe through it, breathe into the spine, and then exhale, release. Two more, inhale. And exhale. Last one, inhale. And exhale. Thank you for joining me today for this quick flexion free workout. If you like it, make sure you hit that little subscribe button and share me with your friends. I come back on every two weeks, so I will see you two Thursdays from now at noon with a new workout. I hope you have a great couple of weeks.